Now, now tell me about these solos. Do you guys choreograph your solo? Do you have someone come in? Because I know in the past people have said they had someone else do their solo. Well, how does that work? My solo was a collaboration with of me with my aunt Cindy. Remember, because she. Aunt Cindy. <laughs> Cindy Post. <What? laughs> Cindy, call me, Cindy. Oh, oh. I need to meet you, Cindy. She's the best. She's the best. <laughs> Did she pick the music? I I picked the music. Okay, because you know when it came Let's on. Mm. Mm. What do you know about them? First, I just, I just that's the music that I love. I told you I love R and B. Yes. Oh, we need to hang out. Yeah. When it came on, I was like, no, he didn't. Yes, he did it. Yeah. You tried it. Amazing. What about you? Um, I did mine. Yeah. I did mine. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I did mine. <laughs> Simple as that. I choreographed it. I tried. It was it. It was a mixture of like a contemporary ballet and I don't know. I liked it. Yeah. I seemed to like it tonight. <laughs> yeah. Well, what do you say um, you'll take away most from this situation? I feel like I've asked you that, but well, the um, the bonds that I've made with all the dancers and contestants and um, the relationship that I have with Emily. Yeah. And just the experiences like being able to work with these amazing choreographers who have got have push themselves to get their name out there and yeah. which is which is inspiring for me because that's what I want to do someday. What do you feel like you've learned about yourself during this process that you didn't know? That I can that I can do things that I never thought I could. Like like that salsa routine was really the probably the hardest week for for me at least and it was most stressful but I feel like I feel like we we succeeded and, and did it and and yeah so it's just it's just Overcoming that fear. Yeah. yeah. What have you learned about yourself in this process? What have I learned about myself? I learned that I can push myself to beyond my limits that I thought I used to have. And um, just knowing that when your body's tired, you can always just keep going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can do anything. I think I could do anything after this whole experience. That's so true. Yeah. It's so true. So true. Yeah. So you two, you think you'll keep in touch? Oh you, are you guys going to come out here to L.A.? You're moving Absolutely. out here? I would love to come out here to L.A. Okay. and start, you know, auditioning and oh, stuff. I can't wait to see you in an audition. It's going to be fun. This guy's a lifelong friend right here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Emily and I will forever, will forever be connected. Yeah? Forever. What about you? Oh, my gosh. Like, he's, like, made this whole experience for oh, me, like, that much better. <laughs> it's just a love fest over here. You know, clearly, I'm that's, that's what I love. It's just... You know, because Emily laughs and I, I don't know, just you understand me. Now, for our Dance Plug viewers who are interested in possibly auditioning for this show, would you tell them to do it and what should they do to prepare? Absolutely oh, yeah. audition for the show if you're thinking about 100%. it. 100%. I tried out three times. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Don't, don't, second don't guess stop. Yourself. Okay. Don't second guess yourself. And broaden your horizons beforehand, you know, like try different styles of dance that you haven't to prepare yourself a little bit more. Mm -hmm.